So when looking at this one, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of the most common, the most common thing I got. The most common thing I got was people trying to factor out an x. Which, yes, ladies and gentlemen, x is a common factor. You are correct. If you factor out x, you get x to the fourth plus 8x cubed minus 9x squared. Right? So it's x times x to the fourth plus 8x cubed minus 9x squared. However, ladies and gentlemen, when you do that, can you still factor out an x? Yeah, you can still factor out an x. And you can actually factor out an x twice which would be x squared. So instead of always factoring out x's, you want to factor out the greatest common factor x from the beginning. And the greatest common factor is not x, but it's x cubed. Okay. I know that better than you. So now let's go through it. x cubed times what gives you x to the fifth power? x squared. x cubed times what gives you 8x to the fourth? And then x cubed times what gives you negative 9? Negative 9. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have x cubed times x squared plus 8x minus 9. And then again, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at this, we now have a quadratic that we know how to factor this, right? This is the algebra 1 I was talking about. We can factor this. This is factoring using this technique, which is much easier to do. It looks difficult, but once you factor out the GCF, now you can easily factor this. So x cubed is x minus 9 times, oops, x plus 9 times x minus 1. Dang, bro. There you go. Okay. So 15 is a third of 7.